Hey guys, welcome back to Hacker's Nightmare. My name is Stephenon, and as promised, I'm back giving you a, another mini tutorial for the Google Nick collection, specifically uh, the Silver Effects Pro. Now again, I'm going to be using the actual uh, application instead of the plugins you can use in Photoshop and Lightroom, just because it's going to be a more generalized kind of tutorial. So um, this is it. Uh, again, the Google Nick collection is now free, so definitely jump on that. It's a really great tool, um, but it probably won't be updated uh, much longer. So I'm just going to load up my image. That would be up. Let that load. Alright, so now our image is loaded. It's a picture of a watch that I took on my uh, T4i. And you can actually download this exact photo um, in both the JPEG and RAW in the description below. I have links uh, to it so you guys can just download them. Alright, so I'm going to give you a little brief uh, tour of the application. Uh, we have black and white presets here. Uh, it's actually default set on modern looks, and these looks are uh, pretty good. What they're trying to get are they're trying to get these looks straight out of the box, and that's actually really nice. You can just uh, paste on an effect, and already that looks pretty good without any adjustments. Um, but I am going to take a different approach. My favorite are the classic looks, and uh, there's a few looks over here. They look really, really nice. Um, for this one, I'm going to be using the high structure, the smooth version. And I'm, and now we're done with the presets, and now we can go to the adjustments area. So I'm fine with the brightness being where it is right now. I am going to bump up the contrast. So you'll see I bumped up the contrast just a little bit. Um, but you'll notice that right here, it's completely black. It's completely black, and you're losing. That's basically lost detail in the shadows. Uh, not too bad, um, but we are going to want to fix that just a little bit. I do like that heavy contrast because of the black, but we are going to fix it a little bit um, with this tonality uh, protection. Sorry, and just lift this up, and these shadows uh, will go out. Now we do. I still, like I said, I still want that black in there, so I'm just going to leave it at half. It looks pretty good. Maybe raise up the contrast a little bit more. Just a touch. And I think that looks pretty good. Uh, control points. I think that looks pretty good as well. Alright, so now we're going to go to the film types. Uh, it's set on a neutral film type. And you can look at all of these film types. They're really, really nice. Film. Basically, they're film emulations off real film cameras. And uh, they're organized by ISO numbers. So obviously, as you go from the lowest ISO, you're going to have the least amount of noise. And as you go higher, you're going to get more noise into your shot. So I'm going to go with a lower noise, like the Fuji Neopan. I'm just going to click that there. And I think the film type actually looks pretty good the way it is right now shadows just a bit more some light and I think that looks pretty good we have that um, beautiful bright areas on the side and again we have that long shadow that I intended on the watch itself so that looks pretty good we can go to the levels and curves now this is kind of a color correction type of uh, setting that you find in After Effects you can also find this in uh, Photoshop but we're gonna bring in the shadows just a little bit and then bring in the highlights just a little bit and then move this down just a touch we can adjust the midtones uh, where we see fit and i think right there looks really good we're getting a really nice contrasty look which is what we want so that's actually all we're going to be doing in 
this tutorial. I know it's been a little short, but that actually, to me, is a pretty good finished photo, which I can display on my portfolio, uh, no problem. So that's uh, the tutorial on the Google Nick Collection Silver FX Pro. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. All right, bye.